Hey everyone. So first thing I wanted to say this week um, as you look at your midterms, no matter what score you got, um, it's never too late to stop learning. So I'd highly encourage you to look back through all the questions, even if you got it correct, if you weren't really sure about it. Um, I'd encourage you to look at that carefully and then go on the discussion boards on the course website and just post any questions you have and uh, maybe challenge yourself, see if you can answer other students' questions also, because that's a great way to really have that material sink in deep. Uh, also, pragmatically, you will probably do better on the final exam if you take this opportunity to uh, understand the material from the past exam better. All right, so this week in this chapter, uh, we're sort of looking at all the possible reasons to be skeptical of some econometric analysis. So whenever you read some news story uh, with some sort of statistical or econometric result, um, either in economics or other social sciences, you know, psychology, political science, um, you should always try to think, I bet there's some econometric problem with what they did. And this chapter will give you the full arsenal of reasons to be skeptical of the validity of some uh, statistical or econometric result. So hopefully you don't feel completely hopeless and nihilistic by the end of the chapter, but empowered to think critically for yourself about results that you see um, and how to judge those. So I hope you enjoy it and that's all for now.